Welcome back everyone. I built this Azumarill team earlier and it's been doing really good while I was testing. Basically what you want to do is use your knockoff wall breakers to get rid of all their heavy duty boots and then hazard stack them using Tinglu and Skarmory. If they have a more offensive team then Speed Booster Moth and Dragapult will be able to overwhelm it more often than not. But what I want to do right here is just lead off with Azu because... It really doesn't have a bad lead, like maybe this thing right here, the Sinistra, could be annoying, but outside of that, I like knock Claude Sire. I can just play her off into the Samurott. Do I want to take a Toxic? I think it probably is worth it, just because... Like, the only thing that isn't taking Toxic here is Skarm, and what is Skarm doing to this anyway? So, I'll go ahead and knock off. The fact that they're, like, thinking about this play makes me think they might be not Water Absorb, and that they're unaware, so... Like, I could just call that out in liquidation right now, but it seems so bad, right? Let's just go for a knockoff and not risk it. This way I get guaranteed value, whereas if I liquidate into Water Absorb turn 1 and then they Toxic me, I'm just going to lose, so... What's the point in that, right? Now, worst case scenario this turn is that they try to go Moltres for some reason and they just get Flame Body as I knock off that thing's item. That would suck, but like, even that's not terrible, just because I do get rid of Heavy Duty Boots and... When I get up rocks, it'll be really good into that mon. Oh, they click rocks. Okay, so knockoff kills them the next turn. Sometimes these are Terra Fairy, so I'm gonna knock off again and see what they are. If they want to Terra this to heal it, that's totally fine, I think. Knockoff did a lot. Are they, like, Spadef invested? I don't know. So we knock off what on this? Boots as well. Okay. Is this just six Boots mons? Is that what I'm facing right now? <laughs> it kind of looks like it. I think I go Skarm here. Like, they're just clearly trying to hazard stack me, but I have Boots pulled. So when I hazard stack them, they're going to have a worse time with it. So let's go ahead and Spikes now. And then basically with that thing's item gone and this thing's item gone, I think I'm going to have a very good time using Dragapult in this game. I mean, I would love to get rid of Weavile's boots. Doesn't crit me, thankfully. I would not have liked that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and spike here. I'm assuming we're just gonna... Oh, they have Roost. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. They're gonna Ceaseless Edge this turn. I either go Tinglu or I go Azumarill. I guess I go Azumarill. And we can just go right for Player Off this time. They don't have a switch in, and I still don't know what this is, so... Knocks me off. I actually don't mind my choice band being gone because now if they go like Weavile, I can click Aqua Jet into it. I'm not switching this out because I can't get rid of hazards and my Azumarill is in range of them. So whatever they send out, I'm attacking. Sinistra is probably faster, so I guess they're going to go that and like Macha Gacha. Yep, that's what the plan is. Okay, I'll just click... It is all Boots Mons, by the way, because this is Boots. I'll just click Knock Off on the off chance they try to Calm Mind. They actually try to Strength Sap. I think that's a mistake. Like, you lost your Boots. It's pretty bad for you, if I'm being honest. And now they Macha Gacha. They would have just been healthier if they did that in the first place, but... I guess I'll take it. So, now... What are my end games here? I wish I had Energy Ball on this Iron Moth instead of Dazzling Gleam. I would actually just sweep... I mean, Moltres is still a thing, I guess, but I believe my play is Hoopa here. I mean, it's either Hoopa or Tinglu, and I think Hoopa is the better play right now. And let me just go right for knockoff. I mean, I could go for Psychic, which I think will do more. Just because I'm max attack and they don't have an item. But knockoff will hit the Weavile, which is actually pretty important. So let's go for knockoff. If they start to Strength Sap me here, then I will click Psychic after. But then hopefully they don't go Weavile that turn. That would be pretty annoying. Okay, so we do 49. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything at all. I'm just going to Psychic now. Like, are you going out into Weavile? No, you're not. 72. And they try to Calm Mind. Perfect. So that did 49, meaning this actually still kills. So I can go for Knock Off here and knock it out. This will force in Weavile, and Weavile is like the last threat. Once Weavile is gone, then I can easily win the game using Dragapult. So, here is my question. <laughs> in every sense of the world here, they would want to click Knock Off. So if I Terra Fairy it right now and click Drain Punch, I would just win the game. Because this would be their last fast threat, and then like Pult would overwhelm their team. 
it's not worth the risk right now. I go Skarm, and they did click Triple Axel, so I'm glad I didn't do that. So here I can just go for Spike. I mean, they're going out into Moltres, so I should actually Roost. They click Knock to try to break me there. What if I just Body Press, dude? Crazy play. Should I just Body Press now? Maybe they're just going to do it again. No, they go Moltres and I get burned. <laughs> yeah, that was always going to happen. Why didn't I just do the other thing? Let's go Tinglu here. Goes for Flamethrower, not a big deal. Do I care about getting rocks up? I mean, if I ever knock this thing's item, it will be very useful for Iron Moth Sweep. Oh, am I faster? I don't know if I'm faster, but they also need U-Turn to knock me out, I think. So let's go right for Thunderbolt here. If they don't have U-Turn... Oh, wait, I'm going to live that. Thunderbolt? They burn me, so I'm dead, but they're also dead, basically. Okay, big. So I just go Pult and Hex, right? I mean, could be a misplay, I guess. I, could, I should probably go Iron Moth. But I don't think Sludge Wave is doing enough to the one thing. Garganackle. It does, like, no damage. Yeah, if I was Energy Ball here, I would just win. But then again, if I was Energy Ball, I would tear a Grass, and then, like, Weavile would be a problem. Let's go Pult here, and... I think I just Hex every time. I could Draco, I guess. No, I'm gonna Hex. I think comes in on 34. I don't know what the correct play is, if I'm being honest. I think I always go for Draco. It's just if I miss it, then... Like, what do I do then? They Roost and I lose. <laughs> Let's go for Hex. I don't want to risk it. We still have turns to take advantage of in this game. If they go hard Garganackle, it is going to be tricky, but... Okay, they sack it off. Good. I really like that. Like, now what are they doing, though? Because... Okay, it's going to be Weavile. I'm faster. So I just U-turn here into Skarm. If they Ice Shard, I don't care. Okay, if they Ice Shard, I kind of care. <laughs> Update. I, I kind of do, but not as much as I thought I would have to. Are they going to try to get in Claude Sire this turn? They need to hit three times again to knock me out, it looks like. And they do. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it's probably still okay. Let's U-turn here. And then I think the goal is just get in Tinglu and start quaking. It just comes down to whether or not I can beat a Garganackle, but I don't know if I can. Oh, that's smart. Okay. But you don't knock this out, and I'm still alive, so it's going to be the same thing. I think if this is Iron Defense Garganackle, I am actually losing, because... Like, here's the problem. Tinglu can't break that with Earthquake if it's Iron Defense, so... Yeah, that's a bit tough. Out comes Claude. This is just dead. Can I get a boost just for the one time so I can threaten Garg a bit more? Okay, because every time people use Iron Moth against me, they get the boost immediately every single time. <laughs> anyway, it is my worst nightmare right here. Hate this mon. <laughs> so, Dazzling Gleam does no damage, but if I plus one Terra Fairy, it actually kind of does. So I guess I go for that. 43, do you have Protect? I mean, if you don't, then I just kill, and we do. Nice, so we pick up the win. We have a game against a player with a Belly Bolt. That mod is really funny. It's actually kind of annoying for me, too, because its speed tier might allow it to outspeed my Azumarill, but I think it does have lower base speed, so they would have to have investment, and I think that would be pretty random on a Belly Bolt, so... Yeah, it's base 45, and Azumarill is 50, so... I'm just going to assume that I'm faster in that scenario. I want to lead off with Azumarill here, because it once again does well against the entire team except for Rillaboom. Maybe Belly Bolt, but I have switch-ins to both of those, so... Like, here I just click Knock Off. If they want to Terra to Sludge Bomb me, it's totally fine. I'll get rid of this thing. So there it goes. I guess they were afraid of Belly Drum or something, I don't know. But we knock that out. I can probably go Skarm here pretty safely. Like, if they click U-Turn, they're taking Helmet, and sure they get in one of their Ghosts. Or, okay, it's the Belly Bolt. I'm gonna go... I mean, Tinglu is gonna beat this, right? Surely. 
This thing is like designed to take on electric types. Okay, what does that mean? Trapping move, something like that. Taunt. What do you get? Is it soak toxic? Like, does this not even get toxic? It does. What are you doing? Chilling water? I, I really don't know. I'm just gonna click rocks and find out. <laughs> it is soak toxic and they miss it. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, they could have toxic me anyway, but... Okay, and now I miss my ruination. I guess it kind of makes up for it. It's whatever. I'll ruinate again. I don't really need this for anything else. Like, it's okay into Golden Go, but... I guess I'll keep it just because I can. Actually, no, forget it. Let's Earthquake. This should do a good amount. Not really. Okay. Uh, let's go Hoopa. And Psychic this thing. I don't care about getting Toxic. Like, I just want to be able to break this thing so that way my Azumarill and Iron Moth can sweep this guy. Because that's clearly what's going to be happening later. They have nothing for Iron Moth now that Gloking is gone. Like, the only thing they have is the ability to Terra, which is usually good enough against most teams, but let's go for a knockoff here. I can't break this Belly Bolt. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm just going to Whirlwind it then. Whatever. They're going to soak here. Yeah, get, get out of here, dude. I don't want to play that mod anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, Terrain is up now, but I can go for Ruination on the U-turn. Hopefully they go Belly Bolt. Actually, I don't I mean, they could because Terrain is up, yeah. But I think you're going Great Tusk. You are. Okay, so I never risk Pult here. I go Skarm. Pult is a win condition. It's like the thing that's winning if Iron Moth isn't. So if they Rapid Spin, I click Spike and we're still in an okay position. I just think I'm using too many resources to get through this Belly Bolt. <laughs> Like, I let two mons get poisoned, and it's still at 100%. <laughs> they did go for spin. Yeah, there's the belly bolt again. I wish this thing just wasn't here. Let's go with hoop unbound. Soaks me there. Now let's- I'm just gonna go Azumarill and break it. Like, Azumarill is my breaker here at the end of the day, and if they're gonna do this, then I'm just going to play rough them now. Please don't miss. Eighty percent. That's the damage I needed because sure I'm dead, right? Like that's a thing, but we can actually do things now. Like this thing isn't gonna be in the game anymore, and that's beautiful. Let's go Hoopa and start to psychic this thing away. Like, Golden Go is the only thing that comes in on Psychic, and what are you doing going Golden Go? So, we not got the bully bo Belly Bolt. Yes, okay. I love that. I never thought that knocking out a Belly Bolt would be the most satisfying thing in Pokemon, but... Somehow. I'm just doing that in case they have a Terra that can allow them to take the Iron Moth hit later. Also, is this thing like Choice? No, it's Boots, right? Yeah, it was. So, I can go Tinglu here. Or I go Hoopa, but I think Tinglu is the better play. Because this forces them to make it rain, and that's like totally fine. Maybe they miss make it rain, you know? Just like hit to the left somehow. Okay, anyway. So, like Hoopa and Bound, I think we'll take this hit, as crazy as that sounds. What's this mod called again? Golden Go? Goldango? How do you guys say that Pokemon's name? Like Golden Go or Goldango? Because I used to say Goldango, but I don't anymore. Okay, that's a roll that I'm not doing. <laughs> I think I go Moth now. Because even if like they have Shadow Ball... Like, the annoying thing for Moth isn't Shadow Ball, it's Thunder Wave. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go Moth and Fiery Dance. Maybe they'll go Pult thinking they can take me on, and then I'll just dazzle them, and it'll be great. If they tear- I'm assuming they have to tear here to live. Maybe they don't. Oh, they don't. Okay. But, like, plus one Shadow Ball doesn't kill me. They would have to get, like, a crit. I don't even think it puts me in range of the uh, other thing, the Grassy Glide from Banded Rillaboom. Oh, they have Hex. Okay, even better. Like, I'm in such a good spot now. Two boosts? That's probably game. Like, what are you taking this hit with, dude? <laughs> I can't Terra. That's the one thing, but I don't think I'll need to. 
Good night, and yeah, that's gonna be this one. I always knew Iron Moth would win after turn one. We have a third game. This is a very similar team to game one. Like all these three Pokemon right here were on the other team, but they have some threats like Darkrai and Zamazenta. Either way though, I still lead Azumarill. Like it does well against the entire team. Darkrai, I guess could be annoying, but I'm gonna click Liquidation. <laughs> That's such a bad play, though. I'm doing it. Oh, they Terra Water to Salt Cure me. That's fine. Like, now you're weak to Thunderbolt from Hoopa. I go you and click Rocks as well. And then I'll just Whirlwind it after. Tinglu is... Okay, they actually switch. That's actually pretty good for me. I'm assuming this one's to Spike Stack. So I'm just going to get an Azu now and start to play rough. That's okay. I mean, player will do a lot. They, this is going to take a lot, dude. What are you doing? Okay, so they're going to Strength Sap here. Let's go Skarm. Just to punish the Strength Sap with Rocky Helmet. And then I'll start clicking Spikes as well. Maybe I should have knock off, But, like, if they stay in with Gliscor, knock off isn't doing anything. Whereas player definitely would. Especially if they're Spidef, which, looking at this team structure... I mean, it could go either way. Because you have this as a Spidef wall. Zamazenta is, like, a good all-around physical sponge, but I think you would want to spit out score. So they actually go with Zamazenta, which is totally good, cool with me. You just wasted your Dauntless Shield. Okay, goes ahead and Strength Saps there. What is the goal? Like, why is this thing here right now? Let's just get up all of them. It has Shadow Ball. Okay, good to know. So we're going to stop. They're going to start spike stacking, huh? Spikes protect. Something earthquake. Knockoff, maybe? I don't know. Probably knockoff just because you have a hazard stacking team. Yeah, they click spikes. Sure. I'm just going to click psychic here. In fact, I always just click psychic no matter what. Hopefully they're fizz def. Oh, they go Sama and die. <laughs> okay. I don't know what they thought I would do. Maybe knock off, but like Darkrai doesn't want to beat Hoopa, I think. Going for flinches is crazy. Yeah, I think this is Dark Oh, they have knockoff. Okay, well, Hoopa is now on its last leg <laughs> because it's not coming in again. I'm assuming I'm slower. I should have ran more speed investment. Can I live an earthquake? Just for some reason. Wait. Is that all you have? <laughs> There's no way that's all you have. That would be really funny. Okay, surely you have knockoff on that last slot. There's no way you're no attacks. If they double protect here, I'm going to be a bit salty. Because then this Gliscor is in and I don't get a kill. So like... Okay, they went for it. And we knocked that out. Perfect. So can I beat the rest of this team using what I have? We don't have the... Thunderbolt for Garganacle anymore, but it's in such a bad spot right now. I want to play this thing switching smart. Let's go Tinglu here. Like, this is fine. I can just Ruination them. Or I go Skarmory, but like, eh. I don't really want to. They actually missed their Macha Gacha, unfortunately, for them. Okay, now let's go Skarmory. Okay, Calm Mind. Uh, I gotta deal with this, like, right now. Meaning... I gotta go you, and I gotta click Whirlwind. It's just the only thing that I can do. They miss again? That's really unlucky. I just don't know what to say about that. Salt Cure is there. Now it's gonna recover... So I think this is the turn I have to go you and click knock off to get rid of this thing's item. Like you have a choice here. You can either switch out and lose a mon or you can stay in and give me your item. And they stay in and give me the boots. Okay, that's going to make a big difference in this game. So now... I mean, I still can't really break this is the problem without these two mons because those are my wall breakers. I think I have to go you and Terra Fairy and go for 
sludge wave here. Yeah, they salt cure, but like, okay, that's fine. You protect, sure, I don't care, like. This thing is dead and that's all that, that I care about because I can beat the last two mons, I believe. I don't know, but I think I can. Actually, I don't think I can. Double protect. Oh, I'm gonna get another attack off, which is helpful, I guess. But I need knockoff pressure is the problem and I don't have that anymore. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can beat this team. I'm gonna go for Earthquake here. There's like a small chance I can, but I think I'm just gonna lose. Calm Minds. I got a Crit Hex is what I gotta do here. I'm gonna lose to this mon otherwise. Can I crit one hex? I mean, it would be really lucky. I have to admit that. What's the better play? Going for Macho? I mean, Shadow Ball will always kill me. Do I go you to prevent recovery? Still takes some, it still doesn't like take any damage. I got a crit, yeah. I just got a crit move. That's it. <sighs> I think Draco actually does more. 195, this goes up to one third. It's just the same. But this is accurate. Yeah, no critters. Unfortunately, after Hoopa and Iron Moth died, I just lose. GG. I really like how my opponent's team looks here. It looks like something that I would build, but what I want to do is lead off with my Azumarill every time. Like, it doesn't have a bad lead matchup except for Skarm, and knocking Skarm is a very big plus, so... I would assume if I'm them, I go for U-turn into Skarm here. I guess you could go for Will-O-Wisp if you have it, but then you're still taking a knockoff into Dragapult. So yeah, they go for the U-turn and they're bringing out Skarmory. I would think so. Like, what else would you go on an Azumarill? <laughs> this thing is just too hard. I mean, it hits too hard. So, let's just go ahead and knock off. Okay, we get rid of the Rocky Helmet. Nice. Now I can go out into... Probably Moth. No, I don't want to burn the booster while Cinderace is at full. Let's just use that as an endgame and maybe go Hoop on Bound here. And I believe I can just Thunderbolt. Like, not a lot of people expect a Thunderbolt, and sometimes they pivot per Marina first, so I'm hoping that's what this guy does. And he does, yeah. So we're gonna be able to hit that for really not that much damage, if I'm being honest. Should have done more. Why? I mean, obviously it's Vest. We know that, right? Oh, it's a Draining Kiss. Okay, sure. I'll go for... No, I'm doubling to Hoopa. They just click Moonblast? What? Dude, I'm faster than you and can play off. I'm not predicting this guy a single more time. Okay, let's go, Skarm. Why do you click Draining Kiss there? It makes no sense. Or Moonblast there. Psychic Noise, it's Liquid Voice. Okay. This was a tilt play, by the way. I just kind of clicked it, but... Now they're going to go Skarm this time. I already know. No, they don't, dude. They don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, I already said I'm not predicting them, so I didn't predict there, but I was so confident they were going Skarm that turn. Okay, so what's my win condition now that I've kind of had some setbacks? I guess it is going to be sweeping with Iron Moth at some point. Gets up rock, so we do get in on the correct turn. Let's go for Psychic. You're so going out at the Great Tusk here. Yep, get red. <laughs> I said I'm not predicting them, and then I predict them. <laughs> okay, so we get rid of that. No rapid spin for them. I don't die to this. So good luck trying to dark pulse me. No flinch for you. Let's click knockoff now to get the kill, and they sack their Dragapult. Mm. I just sack this now. Actually, no, that's not true. I sack the Azu. Actually, that's not true. I go hard Tinglu. On the Pyra Ball. Oh, they go for Banded U-Turn. Okay, that's a thing that I was not expecting. 
Well, if you're banded, then I want to stealth rocks up to make sure that my Dragapult and Iron Moth is getting this kill. We can go Hoopa here and Thunderbolt them. And then I think, like, we'll do it this way first. And if this doesn't work, then I'll clean up with Pult, basically. Like, at this point, they also lose to Aqua Jet, so... Yeah, that's going to be the entire video game. Nice. GG. Now we have some screens HO, so I gotta remember that clicking passive moves is typically not a good idea because they have a couple potential Encore users right here in Ogre Pawn and Iron Valiant. I lead you just because it does well into everything but this. <laughs> okay, let's go Skarmory. And like I said, I can't Iron Defense in front of this, so... Like, here's my question. At this point, I know they're going for Cudgel. Do I need damage, or do I just go for the Spike? I body press every time. Doesn't really do that much damage, but... I'll let them Ivy Cudgel again and knock me out, I guess. And now, like... I go Dragapult and Draco. Should kill this. If I miss, then I miss. If they do this, then they could Thunder Wave me, which is a bit annoying. I don't think you're Thunder Wave. Oh, you could be. It's not worth risking for a couple U-turn chips, so a couple percent of U-turn chip. So here I'm just going to go for Ruination as they don't taunt me. Okay, yeah, you're not SDing again. <laughs> I hope they try to SD. Oh, they have Encore. I have Infiltrator, so I can go you and Infiltrator Draco. Or Willow, actually. I'm just gonna Draco. Like, maybe they forget, or maybe they just get careless. If they go Grimmsnarl, like, it's not the end of the world, is the thing. If they go Grimmsnarl, I guess what I do is... Like, they've only shown screens, right? Yep, so... Oh, they go Val, okay. Well, I mean, Willow might have helped, but it's really not that big of a deal. Hoopa is still good into Iron Crown. I'll go Azu here. I should not die to anything this can do. Maybe Thunderbolt if they have it, but that's not common anymore. So let's go for Play Rough. And if they Terra, that's like a bit annoying, but also shouldn't be the end of the world. Okay. So I do like the priority this thing has to offer, but I can't afford to keep it. So now I go Tinglu and we Earthquake. I live Moonblast with Tinglu easily. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take the hit, meaning Iron Crown is going to be a bit more annoying to beat, but we get rid of Valiant there, and that's really good. Like, better than I could have asked for. So now they're going to go Ogre Pond. I'm going to go Pult again on the Ivy Cudgel. And let's go for U-Turn on the Grim Snarl. Yeah, let's not be passive this late into the game. I'll go Moth here and Fiery Dance, I think. We do get a boost. I guess you're Parting Shot, maybe? I don't know. You are Parting Shot. Can I get another boost? Nope. <laughs> and now I'm facing this thing behind screens. Sick. Is this thing ever useful without its speed booster? Yeah, I mean, kinda. Terra Fairy could make all the difference. I'm going Tinglu here. Agility. Can you actually knock me out, though, is the thing? Because this thing is crazy bulky. Earthquake should do 60. Like, how much am I actually taking from this thing? Uh, Iron Crown. Earthquake does do the damage I need. I guess I'll calc it, just because, like, I kind of want to. Dude, I don't die. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you're Focus Blast, I die. Yeah, I don't die. Good night. Okay, so... Still here, still in the game. Still very scared of Iron Moth, but that's what I've been keeping my one dude for. Hoop Unbound. I think if they Dragon Dance up with the Roaring Moon, I lose, right? So that's one thing to consider. 
Puzzles. Yeah, okay, sure. I go you. I don't even think Hex kills. I have to Draco here. This Ogre Pond has been like the biggest pain the entire game. So I go you now and I click Sludge Wave. I mean, I could sub. But I just knocked them out. There's no way you just go for a speed tie, right? You do something else here. Okay, they go Roaring Moo. This is what I want. So this is my chance to win the game right now. Let's think about this carefully. Because if I get this Dazzling Gleam off, I win. But if they go for Acrobatics right now, can I take it from full if I... Well, like, okay, can I take Earthquake if I Terra? I'm just going to check everything right now because I want to win this Hyper Offense matchup. Especially after, like, struggling the entire game. So obviously that blows me away. I can take an Earthquake and I can take an Acrobatics if I Terra. And that's with Protosynthesis. So all I got to do here is Terra and go for Dazzling Gleam. And then no matter what they go out into after, I should be good. And here's why. If they go out into Ogre Pawn... I go Pult first, and then I just Hex, I think. Or I, maybe I have to Draco. I don't know, but it doesn't change my play right now. This is what I'm doing. Okay, they just try to Dragon Dance, and I knock it out. I think I win. Because there's no way... Unless you have Bug Buzz. If you're Bug Buzz Iron Moth, then you can win. But nobody runs that move, dude. <laughs> Sludge waves me. Okay, you're not Bug Buzz, right? <laughs> Surely? Sludge waves me, and then I just... Okay, they're gonna cudgel. I gotta check whether Hex can kill them. Well, actually, I have U-turn. I just U-turn. They can't tear this. U-turn will kill. And we win the game, right? Let's go. Okay, we got that. We have another Claude Sire Sinistra team. I do not get what's with these today, but we can probably break this one better than I did with the other one where I lost uh, Endgame Sinistra. Just gotta remember that I gotta keep Koopa Unbound the entire game, basically. That's my best breaker against this sort of team. So let's lead off with our Azumarill, I think. And just go for knockoff immediately. Like getting rid of this thing's item, getting rid of Skarm's item, all good things. We've seen this scenario so many times today, but yeah, like getting rid of this helmet, it's going to go a long way for U-turns and like Azumarill later as well. So I'll go Hoopa here on hopefully Hazards, yep. And I just want to go for Thunderbolt. They might not expect Thunderbolt. They might go King Gambit here. Yeah, that's probably what was happening. I never stay in. Literally never. Like, I need Hoop Unbound at all costs. And if they Terra here and KO me, I would cry. So, they might double to Sinistra this turn too, expecting Drain Punch. But they go for the Terra Kowtow. And yeah, that's why I didn't stay in. <laughs> it's Roost up here. Goes a Valiant? Hmm. So, is this choice specs or something? I'm gonna go Tinglu. I know that's a weird decision, but I think it's correct. Goes for knockoff. I'll click rocks here. I don't know what 7.6% means, but it's probably just like... Like, if it's Encore, it's a bit tricky because I can't just keep in Tinglu after. But rocks will help me out into weakening Skarm and stuff. In terms of dealing with a walking wake, like Azumarill can tank one hit. Is it like sun somewhere? I don't know. So I don't get two hit KO'd, thankfully. So we're going to be able to earthquake this for damage. Okay, never mind. I am getting two hit KO'd. Chill, man. <laughs> I did not want to take that hit like that. But. Okay, so Moonblast, CC, knock off. I can't afford to take the hit with the Zoomerill, so I have to go Iron Moth, unfortunately. And this is just going to say Claude Sire comes in, and... Like, I might have to predict that, but I'm just going to go for Fiery Dance here. Just because if I switched out and Iron Valley and stayed in, I would immediately lose. So why, why risk it now? So what's my best breaker now? I mean, Hoopa Unbound with Psychic is free. So I need to, I mean, like, that's why I kind of want to double into it, but yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> Too passive, huh? I'm 
I'm down to spike stack each other. That's fine. Wait, was it Boots Iron Valiant? When did I get up rocks? No, I got up rocks after it came in. Okay, it is Boots though, so good to know. It had Thunderbolt the entire time? Okay. This is going really bad for a last game, but you know what? We clutched up the last one. Maybe I can clutch up this one too. Let's tear this and start Psychicking. And maybe this can just eat their team. Who knows? Maybe they think close combat will just knock me out, but... Like, this is fine, because who are you even going, right? Like... You can't go Claude Sire on this. You can go Walking Wake and chip me into range of Valiant. And if you do that, maybe you win. Yeah, that's the plan. Dang, I'm going to lose this. Maybe. Like, Azumarill is still a Pokemon that can maybe take the hit, but not when they have Thunderbolt, dude. I think I just lose no matter what. Is that true? No, no, that's not true. And I think I see how. So let's go you on knockoff okay and let's go for draco meteor if i'm them here i sack off i mean okay i wouldn't have sacked that off but i'll take it i need them to kind of misplay if i'm gonna have a chance right now okay so from my understanding i think that hoop on bound can take the hit next time it comes in as well maybe that's a lie and i'm just coping but i don't think that's a lie It's not in range of Aqua Jet, which is kind of what I needed. So we come in at 51. I think at this point they have to stay in though, right? Like, if I die to CC, I die to CC, but I don't think I will. Like, who are you switching to right now? Claude Sire to Sack to go who after? Like, what? What are you going to do? Uh, I guess you go like... Okay, this comes in at 51. I feel like Moth might live any one hit too. And that could make the difference. Because, like, okay, if Moth can live the hit, then I win. Iron Valiant. Knockoff. I don't know what sort of investment they have, but... It doesn't hurt that badly. Even if they're max attack, I think I'm going to win anyway. Yeah, so let's go ahead and Psychic again. Their only play is into Sinistra. Which I should be able to beat pretty handily. They would need investment to be faster and... Like, if Hoopa doesn't win right now, in my eyes, the Iron Moth will. Okay, so we do 78. I can Psychic now. This will do a lot. They need to start Calm Minding, which... I don't know if that's going to help them, necessarily. Okay, so they put me in range, but I, I'm pretty sure Iron Moth can live anything from Iron Valiant. And that's what I'm going off of right now. Oh, they clicked Moonblast. <laughs> okay, well, CC would have killed, but yeah, we win the game now. We just Thunderbolt the Skarm, but Iron Moth would have had that right there. And that's going to be the video. So we took one loss. This was a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.